your dissertation is probably going to have uh, between uh, 50 and 200 uh, academic sources and if you cite each of them let's say twice then you're going to have between 200 and 400 uh, citations in your dissertation so it's very difficult to keep track of your sources uh, when you get into that kind of number and also it's difficult to make sure that every single in-text citation is done correctly in APA uh, or in any other uh, format so there are software programs that make it much more likely that you'll get the APA uh, citation format correct and that you will not lose track of any of your citations um, and since they work as databases when you update the information in the database then it will fix all of that information in your Word document as well when you update the Word document so I'm going to show you how to download uh, one of these um, programs but it's pretty much the same if you want to download another one so I'm just going to go to Google and uh, type download um, Zotero and here I'll go to Zotero download and then I will just click uh, download Zotero for Mac because that's what I have here and then I will get this file here and I'll double click it then uh, you can see it's going to verify And then on a Macintosh, you have to drag the icon into your uh, application folder there like that, uh, like this. And it says an older item named Zotero exists. Do you want to replace it with a newer one? That's because I already have it. Well, let's just go ahead and say replace, all right? Okay, now I should have uh, Zotero. If I click on uh, my Applications folder, I'll go down to Z, and there it is, Zotero. So I'll double-click that. Zotero is an application. Are you sure you want to open it? Click Open It. And then uh, here it says Zotero Word for Mac integration has been successfully installed word must be restarted okay go ahead and restart word now your uh, Zotero will be empty when you install it for the first time but uh, anyway that's how you install a um, a bibliographic management program